Why do textbooks call glass a solid when it's not quite solid and not quite liquid? Let's crack open the truth about what's really behind that window pane. Ready to have your mind blown? So, here's the deal. Glass isn't your typical solid. It's actually an amorphous solid, which means it's rigid, but if you zoom in, its molecules are arranged more like a liquid than a tidy crystal. Regular solids like ice or metal have neat repeating patterns at the atomic level. But glass? Nope. Its molecules are all over the place randomly scattered, frozen in a state that's neither fully liquid nor fully solid. Imagine a game of molecular musical chairs, but the music stopped before anyone found a seat. Now, you might have heard that old church windows are thicker at the bottom because glass flows downward over centuries. Sounds wild, but it's actually just a myth. Those windows were made uneven by hand, not gravity. So what glass, really? Scientists call it a supercooled liquid. It's a solid that got frozen before its atoms could line up and get organized. It's stuck in transition, making it one of nature's strangest states of matter. Next time you look through a window or drop your phone and pray the screen survives, remember glass isn't as solid as you think. It's somewhere in between, defying the rules and keeping science interesting. Stay curious.